The talk was mainly about Texas data and the social sciences and how it can help us understand political and economic uh, phenomena based on the analysis of large text documents. And, uh, basically, there has been a very large uh, increase in the amounts of text of, uh, that are available to us as uh, researchers, mainly through social media, internet queries, as well as digitized historical archives, such as speeches, laws, books. And this considerable amount of text has actually been matched with a, a considerable increase in compute power. And so the computers that we have at our disposal make it much easier for us to also process all this text. And this has led to, to the development of a field called natural language processing, which is basically a data-driven approach to uh, analyze a large uh, text corpora. And uh, what, I, what I try to argue is the fact that natural language processing is very pervasive in our lives. When you think of the Google queries that you do, when you think of translation services or spam detection algorithms, and more recently ChatGPT, all, uh, all these things are actually part, uh, uh, are what's, what's working behind the scenes are basically natural language processing algorithms. And um, beyond our everyday lives, these uh, algorithms are also useful to, to, to us as researchers to better understand uh, political and economic phenomena. And they've been used to uh, measure uh, economic policy uncertainty, racial and misogynistic bias, um, to predict GDP growth, the likelihood of protests, as well as financial market fluctuations. And so the, the question that's, uh, th that we can ask ourselves is how do these algorithms work and how do we actually think of text documents and represent them in, in mathematical format? And there are basically two ways of thinking of, of text documents. One, one approach is rather crude, it's called the, the bag of words approach. And it, what it does is basically counts word frequencies in the text and, and represents documents as word frequencies over a vocabulary. And what's nice with bag of words approach is that they're actually pretty close to the theoretical apparatus that uh, applied researchers in economics use. Uh, so you can, for instance, do text regressions and, uh, and other things that we're rather familiar with. Um, but then there's a, there's a second way of representing the text, which is perhaps a bit more recent, uh, comes from the computer science literature, and that represents uh, words and documents as vectors uh, in, a, in a compact, dense vectorial space, where words that tend to co-occur in similar contexts, that tend to have a similar meaning, also co-occur, are, are also close to one another in this, uh, in this vectorial space. And uh, this, this representation of language is, is much richer, it captures much more subtleties of language, but it's also uh, a bit more complex, involves neural networks, and thus perhaps a bit less uh, uh, interpretable uh, for, for us as, uh, as researchers. And I think one thing that we have to keep in mind when we think of text as data is also what are the limitations, what's the research frontier, and what can we contribute as economists and social scientists uh, to, to this field. And, I think there are three main uh, challenges that we're facing at the moment. The first challenge is incorporating document metadata in, uh, in language models, because uh, as social scientists, we're usually interested in understanding uh, a treatment effect, for instance, and uh, this treatment effect uh, takes the form of a covariate, so we would like to condition these language models on this treatment or on these covariates that are also potentially uh, confounders. Another, uh, I think, uh, research frontier is to try to understand how we should validate the algorithmic output that we get from large language models, uh, since uh, these models can, uh, as we said, be uh, rather uh, hard to interpret. And this is indeed the, the third, uh, third limitation, and I think uh, research frontier that we're facing is how should we actually interpret more complex neural network algorithms that treat text as data. And in this respect, uh, I think there's, uh, there's much work to be done. What I really like with uh, IOEA is just that we meet uh, a bunch of different scholars in a very uh, relaxed environment and we get to talk about our research, discuss new research ideas uh, in, a, in a really uh, beautiful spot uh, with, with very interesting people. Um, so I think that's, that's pretty much it for me. It's actually my, my first time coming.
uh, to, to this event and I'm, um, I'm very happy to be here.